Hi everyone. So I thought I would chat about my new hair oil. I just went and got Olaplex bonding oil. I've never used any of their products and I am on this journey of growing all of my hair back out without dyeing it. I did a big chop um, in January to about my bottom lip. So I have, I have some hair growth. I'm happy with it. Feeling like I actually have some hair again. And so I just got the number seven and it boosts shine, strengthens and repair all hair types. And so I heard you only need like a few drops there it is. Let's see. I mean, the packaging is impressive. I love the lid. I love the clearness. Smells so far good. Not not good. So I saw that it's like it's hard to come out, but it's probably a good thing. Is that enough? I feel like I saw the person online only use that much. It smells nice, it smells clean so far. Probably when I get it on my head, I can smell more. So, oh, it does smell really nice. It's super light, wow. That has to be the lightest hair oil I've ever used. God, I thought the Jonathan Van Ness was like. Okay, so, so far, Smells great, didn't come out too fast. I mean, it feels like it's, it doesn't even feel like it's all my hair. It feels like it just sunk right in, which is exactly what you want. So it actually penetrates the hair shaft. It makes your hair softer and healthier. Cause I'm trying to grow my hair down to my waist-ish. I love when my hair gets to here. Why not? It was at this point once. I don't know. But the most impressive hair oil that I am obsessed with has to be Jonathan Van Ness. I mean, this stuff is absolutely phenomenal. If you can and you want to try something new, this is it right here. Seriously, absolutely amazing. So the dropper is great too. It doesn't like drip when you don't want it to. And then you can like do like little, and like it has like a stopper thing right here too. Super lightweight. It smells, oh, it smells like a, just amazing. It smells like a beautiful salon or a fancy hotel you walk into. You just feel like, like money or fabulous or amazing when you put it in your hair. And it just feels like it actually works. Like I feel like I can tell such a difference and I put it in, I put like, stripes of oil through my scalp and I massage a little bit too and it says leave it on for an hour I'll leave it on for an hour or so and then I'll do my whole hair routine I'll put some oil through my hair as well and wash it out upside down all this stuff and my hair is so soft after I've used it twice and absolutely love it this is something that I will be repurchasing and yes Jonathan Van Ness good job this is the first thing I've tried from his collection. If there's anything else good, let me know, please. My next favorite oil is by far the way. Um, hair oil, this is more of like my daily hair oiling oil I, I use or before bed. If I didn't oil my hair that morning, I'll put this in my hair and then I'll do like a French braid down the back and then I'll put a silk cap on or a silk pillowcase. And this smells, this smells so good too. This is more of a floral scent. It's just really pretty. It's very perfumey. So, I mean, I like that. I like when my hair smells like that. Now it's really good. The one other oil, I believe it's in my travel bag and I have that packed right now. I don't love it, but I also, I don't, I have such mixed reviews because yeah, I think it's packed. Um, I've bought it three times over the last couple years and I really thought it was amazing until I found these two and it's the um 
Verb Ghost Oil. Um, the consistency is really thick and it tames the flyaways, but I also feel like it sits on your hair more than I want it to. And I feel like it can give a little bit of a heavy look, but if you're doing that whole like model off duty part down the middle, low bun, you want all your flyaways gone and you want to condition your hair at the same time, then I feel like that could be really amazing. But it's just not, I don't feel like it works like how these two work or maybe how Olaplex works. And there's something about the clear bottle in the um, yellow oil in the ghost verb is white and kind of more of a jelly consistency. It smells really good. I don't know how to peg the smell exactly because I don't have it in front of me. Um, but the last hair oil that I struggled with was the Bumble and Bumble um, lightweight hair oil serum. I don't feel like it was lightweight at all. Again, I felt like it made my hair heavy and I have a ton of hair that is very, very fine and has a mixed straight to wavy every once in a while, I will get a curl depending on the day and product and weather. So my my top three would definitely be this collection. I guess I'm just throwing this guy in here because I've heard so much hype about it. And maybe I just, I mean, Olaplex is like the holy grail, right? Like liquid gold. But these, phenomenal, absolutely phenomenal. Love this. I feel like I can tell a difference in my hair of like just I can brush through it randomly I feel like my hair is growing back in healthy really really happy with it and the verb ghost oil and the bumble bubble hair serum oil they both say weightless on them I believe and the hair oil the most important thing is to buy a product that says oil and I know the others say serum and I know it's a different consistency, but if you don't know that and you go into buying what you want is a hair oil that actually soaks in and the serum like coats around and does nourish, but it's not quite the same. So I learned that the hard way. And if you have any tips or tricks for me, um, please let me know down below of any other hair oils I should try. I mean, I've done castor oil. I mean, I use coconut oil all the time and jojoba oil, and grape seed, sunflower. I think I've tried almost every oil there was out there. I even tried the whole aloe plant um, oil gel. I didn't notice any of a difference. My hair just got poofier, but I also heard you had to do it like twice. And I have not done the whole rice water. I don't know if I can get past the smell, but I have done apple cider vinegar rinses. Oh. And I just got this bad boy, and that felt amazing. This is a scalp detox, super good. It's kind of a tingly, charcoaly, healthy, but girly. I say girly because I could, I associate flowers, a floral scent with my grandma. No, this is more of a pow, a pow perfumey karate kick smell. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how to describe that, but I love it. And I'm a sucker for that packaging. So those are the best oils I have found and trying other random stuff as well. And the wooden brush to distribute the oils everywhere. And I think I will come back in the morning and add some more like I've never had this long of natural healthy hair since I can even remember like it's weird not to be a blonde because I've been a blonde for so long and I've got a balayage for like 10 years oh there's some dandruff oh well but I'm getting results and that's all that matters. Oh, 
Well, I hope this was helpful. And if you have any tips, please leave them down below. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to subscribe and like. And I hope you have a great day. Thanks.